Today I'm going to talk about the life of Beatrice Potter, a brief introduction. Beatrice Potter was a writer, illustrator, natural scientist and preservation of the wildlife. Beatrice is best known for uh, Peter Rabbit books, but went on to write another 35 small books that have been published. Beatrice was born Helen Beatrice Potter. She was born on 28th of July, 1866 in South Kensington, London. Beatrice's parents were called Helen and Rupert Potter. Beatrice had a younger brother called Walter Bertram, who was six years younger than Beatrice. Beatrice's parents were quite wealthy and were artistic and loved nature. Beatrice and her brother were educated at home by governors. Beatrice and Walter were isolated from other young people and spent their time observing small animals and drawing them as part of their education. Beatrice spent her childhood living in the Lake District and went with her family on regular holidays to Scotland. Beatrice would bring her small pets including her dog called Spot. Beatrice would bring mice, rabbits, insects, bats, lizards and other small animals with herself and family. Beatrice loved living in the countryside. When Walter was older, he was sent to boarding school. Beatrice felt lonely and spent even more time with her small pets and drawing them. When Beatrice became a teenager, she became even more interested in improving her skills as a watercolour artist and visited London's galleries. Beatrice has a unique style of her own while staying up to date with the most contemporary artist. A family friend called John Everett Millas recognised Beatrice's talent and encouraged her to continue to study art seriously. Beatrice undertook some formal education in the arts but was mostly self-taught. Beatrice spent many years studying plants, animals and insects and making detailed drawings of them. Beatrice also practiced copying the works of famous British artists whose works she studied in books and galleries, including the landscape paintings of John Constable. Beatrice studied and illustrated animals, insects, plants and fungi from life and from books. As an illustrator, Beatrice used pencil and watercolour to beautify and capture the colourful and mysterious fungus specimens she collected. Beatrice studied mycology alongside experts including those at the Royal Botanic Kew Gardens. In 1897, Beatrice submitted a research paper to the board of Linnean Society of London who ignored her due to her gender and amateur status. Beatrice withdrew the paper and illustrations for consideration. In 1977, 100 years later, the Linnean Society offered a formal apology to Beatrice for the sexism she had experienced. Beatrice illustrated Christmas cards as a way of earning money for herself and her family. Beatrice's illustrations were usually of small animals of in whimsical fantasy situations. A large publishing firm discovered Beatrice's Christmas cards and purchased a design of her first original character, Benjamin Bunny. Beatrice went on to sell additional illustrations of her unique animal characters to a variety of publishers and soon became determined to write and publish her own series of illustrated children's books. While Beatrice was busy writing Peter Rabbit, one of her friends eventually found a publisher called Frederick Warren and Co who agreed to take Beatrice's books. All 8,000 copies sold at once. Beatrice wrote The Tale of Gloucester and the tale of Squirrel Nutkin. Beatrice met Norman Warren, who asked her to marry him, but her parents did not approve. Beatrice believed she was old enough to make up her own mind, and they got engaged, um, but he died shortly after of an illness. 
in 1913, Beatrice, Beatrice married William Ellis and was happy in the marriage. Beatrice died on 22nd December 1943. She was 77 years old. She had bronchitis and heart trouble. <laughs>